stars this evening. And out. 
if you follow these instructions. The Lord's anger will never again blaze against the people of Israel. I myself have chosen your fellow Levites from among the Israelites to be your special assistants. They are a gift to you dedicated to the Lord for service in the tabernacle. But you and your sons, the priests, must personally handle all the priestly rituals associated with the altar and with everything behind the inner curtain. I am giving you the priesthood as your special privilege of service. Any unauthorized person who comes too near the sanctuary will be put to death. The Lord gave these further instructions to Aaron. I, myself, have put you in charge of all the holy offerings that are brought to me by the people of Israel. I have given all these consecrated offerings to you and your sons as your permanent share. You are allotted the portion of the most holy offerings that is not burned in the fire. This portion of all the most holy offerings, including the grain offerings, sin offerings, and guilt offerings, will be most holy. And it belongs to you and your sons. You must eat as uh, eat it as a most holy offering. All the males may eat of it, and you must treat it as most holy. All the sacred offerings and special offerings presented to me when the Israelites lift them up before the altar also belong to you. I have given them to you and to your sons and daughters as your permanent share. Any member of your family who is ceremonially clean may eat of the offerings. I also give you the harvest gifts brought by the people as offerings to the Lord, the best of the olive oil, new wine, and grain. All the first crops of their land that the people present to the Lord belong to you. Any member of your family who is ceremonially clean may eat this food. Everything in Israel that is specially set apart for the Lord also belongs to you. The firstborn of every mother with a human or animal that is offered to the Lord will be yours. But you must always redeem your firstborn sons and the firstborn of ceremonially unclean animals. Redeem them when they are one month old. The redemption price is for five pieces of silver as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel, which equals 20 karats. However, you may not redeem the firstborn of cattle, sheep, or goats. They are holy and have been set apart for the Lord. Sprinkle their blood on the altar and burn their fat as a special gift, a pleasing aroma to the Lord. The meat of these animals will be yours, just like the breast and right thigh that are presented by lifting them up as a special offering before the altar. Yes, I am giving you all these holy offerings that the people of Israel bring to the Lord. They are for you and your sons and daughters to be eaten as your permanent share. This is an eternal and unbreakable covenant between the Lord and you, and it also applies to your descendants. And the Lord said to Aaron, you priests will receive no allotment of land or share of property among the people of Israel. I am your share and your allotment. As for the tribe of Levi, your relatives, I will compensate them for their service in the tabernacle. Instead of an allotment of land, I will give them the tithes from the, the, tithes from the entire land of Israel. From now on, no Israelites except priests or Levites may approach the tabernacle. If they come too near, they will be judged guilty and will die. Only the Levites may serve at the tabernacle, and they will be held responsible for any offenses against it. This is a permanent law for you to be observed from generation to generation. The Levites will receive no allotment of land among the Israelites, because I have given them the Israelites tithes which have been presented as sacred offerings to the Lord. This will be the Levites' share. That
that is why I said they would receive an allotment of land among the Israelites. The Lord also told Moses, give these instructions to the Levites. When you receive from the people of Israel the tithes I have assigned as your allotment, give a tenth of the tithes you receive, a tithe of the tithe to the Lord as a sacred. themselves in the proper way defile the Lord's tabernacle and 
Moses was at Kadesh, he sent ambassadors to the king of Edom with this message. This is what your relatives, the people of Israel, say. You know all the hardships we have been through. Our ancestors went down to Egypt and we lived there a long time. And we and our ancestors were brutally mistreated by the Egyptians. But when we cried out to the Lord, he heard us and sent an angel who brought us out of Egypt. Now we are camped at Kadesh, a town on the border of your land. Please let us travel through your land. We will be careful not to go through your fields and vineyards. We won't even drink water from your wells. We will stay on the king's road and never leave it until we have passed through your territory. But the king of Edom said, Stay out of my land, and I will meet you with my army, or I will meet you with my army. The Israelites answered, We will stay on the main road. If our livestock drink your water, we will pay for it. Just let us pass through your country, that's all we ask. But the king of Eden replied, Stay out, you may not pass through our land. With that, he mobilized his army and marched out against them with an imposing force. Because Edom refused to allow Israel to pass through their country, Israel was forced to turn around. The whole community of Israel left Kadesh and arrived at Mount Hor. There, and on the border of the land of Edom, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, The time has come for Aaron to join his ancestors in death. He will not enter the land I am giving the people of Israel, because the two of you rebelled against my instructions concerning the water at Meribah. Now take Aaron and his son Eleazar up Mount Hor. There you will remove Aaron's priestly garments and put them on Eleazar, his son. Aaron will die there and join his ancestors. So Moses did as the Lord commanded. The three of them went up Mount Hor together as the whole community watched. At the summit, Moses removed the priestly garments from Aaron and put them on Eleazar. Aaron's son. Then Aaron died there on top of the mountain, and Moses and Eleazar went back down. When the people realized that Aaron had died, all Israel mourned for him thirty days. I mean, an incredible amount of pain. 
Patience. city 
of Zeon restored. A fire flamed forth from Eshbon, a blaze from the city of Zeon. It burned the city of Ar in Moab. It destroyed the rulers of the Arnon Heights. What sorrow awaits you, O people of Moab? You are finished, O worshippers of Hamosh. Hamosh has left his sons as refugees, his daughters as captives of Zion, the Amorite king. We have utterly destroyed them from Eshbon to Debon. We have completely wiped them out as far away as Nofa and Mediba. So, the people of Israel occupied the territory of the Amorites after Moses sent men to explore the Jazer area. They captured all the towns in the region and drove out the Amorites who lived there. Then they returned and marched up the road to Bashan, but King Oak of Bashan and all his people attacked them at Edre. The Lord said to Moses, Do not be afraid of him, for I have handed him over to you, along with all his people in his land. Do the same to him as you did to King Zion of the Amorites, who ruled in Eshbon. And Israel killed King Og, his sons, and all his subjects. Not a single survivor remained. Then Israel occupied their land. Interesting, interesting, isn't it? <laughs>